Yes, folks, my hair is messed up. I'm not even groomed and ready for the day because you know what? We just had the biggest leak for Nintendo Switch 2 in the history of leaks. And it looks like Nintendo messed up, man. Nintendo had an opportunity to get ahead of real factory leaks images and all of that of the system they had a chance to announce this system before these leaks would matter and it appears nintendo missed the boat these leaks appear to be legit they do come from chinese forums we have images we have uh cad file images as well the cad files being what they would be using in the factory to obviously create the components oh my gosh we have a lot of stuff going on and the thing is you might go well why do we believe this well besides the fact that the factory worker that leaked this provided credentials Oh, that's not what matters most. How about the fact that like Video Game Chronicle and other journalists have been reposting it and saying their sources are telling them it's legit. Developers are telling them that this is the Switch 2. Oh man, if you guys are excited, if you guys are excited, we have, we have potential specs as well. We might actually know like final specs of the system. So, wow! Oh, are you guys excited? I hope you are. My name is Nintendo Robo Jance. This is Nintendo Prime. If you're enjoying all the coverage of Switch 2, you want to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. I can't contain my hype anymore. It's time, it's time, it's time to switch over. We're going to go right to the original source on this. It's this place right here. These images gone up. This guy's been verified. We've had journalists backing this up. I'll show that in a moment. But hey, this is CAD image number one of the left Joy-Con controller. You can see this kind of fits with the, uh, what? What is it the the leak we had yesterday the leak we had yesterday where uh this slots in so it doesn't slide on this kind of press fits in uh and you see we got bigger shoulder buttons here and this is obviously a little bit bigger of a protrusion than we have on the original joy cons but this definitely fits the press fit stuff we were talking about yesterday so it does fit with that uh you're seeing this here as well on the Right Joy-Con. Now I'm trying to look for any new buttons here. These look like the same, like minus uh, share button. Uh, looks like the, you know they still use the split D-pad. Looks like the uh, controller hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, it may be a little bit bigger. Maybe this down here is something that's an IR sensor or something like that to keep compatibility. Don't know. They kind of have the same molding thing here, so not really sure. But I'm not seeing like any new buttons. Uh, I guess maybe this button below the home button might be new. Uh, let me grab. We grab a Joy-Con quick. Yeah, that button below the home button is true. This fits with a prior leak we've talked about. Uh, let's see here. Uh, now, this is the back comparing to the original. Now, the only thing that doesn't line up, and a couple sources have said that they're, they are using a U design on the back. This looks more like the Switch OLED design kickstand. And they're just doing a size comparison to the original Switch. Now, this is significantly larger than the original Switch, which the Switch OLED isn't this large in comparison to the original Switch. Uh, so this is just to give you a size comparison to the OG Switch, to the supposed new one. Again, the kickstand doesn't seem to have the same uh, the same results or the same dimensions. You can obviously see the press fit in here, the indents into the Switch. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I don't really know if this is actually the design they're going with. They're sticking with the OLED design or the U design. Uh, but here we go. Next up, we can see the screen size. You can see there definitely is a smaller bezel. But, I mean, that thing looks like a monster <laughs> compared to the original Switch screen. It's not going to look like a, a, as big of a monster compared to the OLED screen. But uh, there's definitely some uh, size differences there with the screen. Remember, these are just CAD files that we're looking at. By the way, we have more than CAD files. We have actual uh, images of the shells and stuff. Uh, but you can see what it looks like on the bottom. You got a USB-C. You got looks like two speaker, two speaker grills there. Uh, looks pretty standard, and then this would be the lip here that you pulled out to open the kickstand. All right. Uh, here's the top ventilation. Uh, you'll see I've got a power button, our volume rocker, uh, headphone microphone jack. There's also, it looks like another USB-C port on the top. That is new. Uh, so it looks like there's an extra USB-C port. So a USB-C port on the top and a USB-C port on the bottom. It could just be for charging in multiple methods, like in handheld. Maybe you want to plug it into the top. That could be what it's for. I don't know. Uh, they're also, I don't know if this right here, if this circle is a new button as well for something or if it's just uh, where a screw is going to end up going. Uh, and right here, you see the cutout. Uh, this is obviously the cartridge slot, pretty much in the same location as before. You can see a little bit of a look at the uh, stuff here. You're noticing, oh, what's this back here? It looks like an extra button. It looks like an extra button on the Joy-Cons. So we have our L, our R, our, our, our ZL, our ZR. And then what is this button back here? Well, let's continue. Uh, we get a look at the back. And again, this really looks like the Switch OLED design kickstand. But look at this button. So I'm trying to think, like, when you're holding a Joy-Con, um, 
you know, you, your your finger could hit that button. I don't know if that's an extra button for uh, for gameplay or if that is a release button. That could be a release button to release the the press fit. So I, that's what I'm because I, I, I see no other buttons on the back. So I, I do kind of feel like there that's a release button that it'll just release the the press fit. And it just needs to be a harder press button because it's a press fit solution, which is usually a lot snugger. Um, now, here is a look at the shell with some internals. So we, we do have a board in here, uh, you know, fully custom board and everything. You can kind of see, like, you know, this is the cartridge slot right here. Uh, so that, you know, the cartridge reader isn't in right now. But this is, this is where the cartridge would go. This is where the battery goes over here. Uh, this is probably like rumble motors or, or gyro stuff would end up going in there. Speakers down here. This lines up with the CAD images. Uh, you can obviously see uh, some shells here. Now these shells are not black and white notably. Don't know uh, if it, the buttons might be white. That's the thing we don't see here. Uh, so that could just be that the black and white that we that we heard about yesterday is just the shell is black but the buttons are all white. That would make it stand out and actually kind of look kind of sharp. So I'm, I'm kind of into it if that's what they do. You can see these are the indicators right here for controller one, two, three, four. And these are definitely those big protrusions, the giant buttons here. These are those press fits going in. Now we don't see a side look here into this joint, this joint here on each side that these press fit into. Uh, we don't see it. What we do see are these two connection points here, here, and here, here. Uh, that could fit a prior rumor where they said the magnets are inside the SL and SR buttons. So the SL and SR buttons, according to a former rumor, are metal. Uh, and if these uh, little mechanisms here are electromagnets, that would actually fit in with the magnets being behind the SL, SR buttons, which again, fits a prior rumor we covered on all of this. Uh, next up, we see another image just on the back side of the right Joy-Con. So obviously this matches up uh, pretty well with what we see here, although we don't see any of the buttons uh, obviously installed. These are just shells, and this is just the base shell of the system with, a, with the initial board in. Uh, the board does not appear to have the chip put on yet. That looks like what's going to go here. The chip will be connected in this area. Uh, it doesn't look like that's connected yet. Um, and then uh, we have the other, the other uh, Joy-Con here as well. Uh, then we have a look at this from the side. This is uh, the side of that shell we were looking at because you can see like here's the, the thing for that weird button. The buttons are not installed, but these buttons are. So the SL and SR buttons are installed. And this right here appears to be the connection point, uh, the new connection point. This connection point will probably be how it charges and stuff. So you get that press fit in. Uh, it charges through this mechanism, and then there's magnets behind the SL and SR buttons that help hold it in more. So we need a screw hole here. Uh, this is probably going to be your sync button, or this is your sync button. I'm not really sure, obviously, because there's, 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 these, these are just shells. They're not fully uh, filled in. But we do see the mechanism here that this looks like it'll be how these things charge when they're connected to the side of your console. This also would tell you that current Joy-Con are not compatible with Nintendo Switch 2. Uh, and then we have this last image here. This is just kind of a... CAD of the front of it. Um, I don't know if it's uh, distorted a bit. It might be distorted a bit. This happens when you're doing CAD work. Uh, but yeah, it, it just looks nice. And it looks, shockingly, very similar to the current Switch, except with like smoother edges. The edges look a little smoother. Like if we go back and look at uh, the Joy-Cons here, uh, just from the front side, like, you know, these edges look like they're tapered down a little bit, a little bit of a smoother transition that might actually make them more ergonomic. doesn't look like they change a lot on the back of the Joy-Cons, though. Uh, so they're still kind of flat. I guess they like that flat design. Um, but, you know, it, it looks a little thicker, too. This looks like a thick boy. Now, I did mention that, you know, some of this stuff was backed up by journalists. Well, we have an article here by Video Game Chronicle uh, put up by Andy Robinson. And he said, you know, the images appeared on Reddit, but they originally sourced from a Chinese social media site, which I showed. Uh, the images are unverified. But one source who has not seen the final Switch 2 console but has been briefed on Nintendo's plans told VGC that the Reddit images match what the company has told partners to expect from its design. So, uh yeah, they, they, their one source has told them that these these match. And there's other journalists who have come out now and kind of backed this up as well, saying, hey, this is exactly what we heard the system is. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Now, we're going over to the Reddit post they talked about the images. You see, this is where I originally saw everything, because we have specs. Now, notably, these specs do not come from the same person, uh, so we can't be sure if these specs are accurate, uh, but they could be from a different part of manufacturing. And here's the translation they have. Um, they're just going over like what the parts mean in, 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 in the spec leaks and stuff. You know, so you have the game console, the left Joy-Con, the right Joy-Con, the dock, which we did not see any images of the dock today. Um, but here's the detailed configuration list. This is what really matters. So the, the SOC, the CPU, the GPU is model GML X 
30-R-A1. That's what it's going to be called. That's the model of it. Uh, we don't know, obviously, the details of that yet because it is a custom SOC. I tried looking it up. There's no details online. So this is a fully custom SOC. Um, probably what the T239 we've been talking about, but this is the actual model number. Uh, the memory module. Now, this is really cool because this is where we get our confirmation of a few things. Uh, one, it's LPDDR 5X. This is your RAM we're talking about. There are two uh, dual channel 6 gig 6 gig x2 what this means is there's 12 gigs of ram there's 12 gigs of ram in two 6 gig arrays at 7500 mega transfers per second this is the, literally the fastest this can be so uh, they are using the fastest possible ram that they could use for the LPB, LP ddr 5 x uh, spec. So that is really good to see. This is cool right here, too. Uh, the flash memory module, this is your internal storage. It is, after all, what rumors said in the past, UFS 3.1. Um, this is who the manu main manufacturer is. And it has uh, this sort of, it has 2,100 megabytes per second, which is actually pretty good. This is plenty fast. 256 gigs. So the system comes with 256 gigs of internal storage. So again, this backs up other rumors we had. See, people always tell us the rumors, the leaks. Why do you report on this stuff? Because a lot of this stuff turns out to be true. But we learn a few other things. They have an audio chip, of course. They have an NFC, so you'll be able to use Amiibo and stuff. So NFC is back. Built-in microphone. There it is, folks. There is a built-in microphone. That might be the gimmick this time. They might have included a built-in microphone on the system. So there you go. That is a brand new thing we weren't sure about. Built-in microphone. Dual cooling fans. Now, this is what's really cool. They're using a copper heat sink, but it sounds like they're using two cooling fans on the system itself. That is wild. That, they, they are trying to get some performance out of this beast if they're putting two cooling fans in. Now, what's weird is when you look at the images, uh, you look at these images, there's only the one cooling vent at the top, which would kind of suggest it's only one cooling fan. But I do wonder if this is a design um, where when you're looking at uh, looking at the back here, this is where the cooling vent is up here. You do wonder if the design is, well, there'll be like a fan here and a fan here, and they'll kind of be uh, air routed. So there'll be like a shroud on it that sort of uh, routes all the air to go like up and up like this and up and up like this. So you can have a fan over here, a fan over here, and then they both kind of shoot out the same vent. There are laptop designs that do that. So that would not be impossible to consider that there could be two fans. It just is wild to me that there will be. Uh, so that's awesome. Now, again, one of these fans could still be in the dock. There's no specification here on the dock stuff. So We'll have to see. And it says the video signal is DisplayPort to HDMI, um, and it is apparently a chip model, the Ruxin RTD 2175N, uh, and it supports HDMI 2.1, which is exactly what we expected. That's what you need to support for 4K and all that. Uh, your ne the network chip, uh, they're running um, this network chip here, and it has a gigabyte Ethernet chip, so it does appear that it's coming with you know built-in gigabyte ethernet so we're, we are looking at an ethernet port likely included on the dock so that is good to know we only have that on the oled model officially so that's neat i don't know if this is a better network chip than what we have in switch i sure hope it is uh but either way that's pretty cool the microcontroller chip this is, does a lot of the the you know the, the fine-tuned controls of handling your networking or handling your power delivery and all this stuff i'm not really sure which microcontroller this is uh but it's the rtl8 153b vb cg Oh, sorry, no, it's the JSTM. Sorry, I was looking at the wrong part. The JSTM 32G 0 b 0 oc et 6 You guys see it on screen. Uh, the video game console, uh, protective case. This is just the, uh, you know, the actual shell of the system. Um, and then the speakers are apparently the Muse Box L and the Muse Box R. It's two-channel stereo. Obviously, you don't have specs on the speakers. Uh, but guys, this is wild! Can you believe what we're talking about right now? Nintendo! You better be revealing this system, man. You better be revealing this system this week because right now the narrative is 100%, 1,000% controlled, controlled by leakers right now. This is real, tangible, being verified by multiple people's stuff. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Oh, man. I'm so excited, guys. This means mass manufacturing is happening, by the way. No more rumors. No more, oh, we, we, mass manufacturing is underway. No, 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 these leaks happen because mass manufacturing is going on. Nintendo, Nintendo, Nintendo. Ah, let's go.